What's going on? I'm your man, Khalil G. Welcome back to 3 Real Motion Outdoors. Also known as 3 Real Motion Angling, soon to be 3 Real Custom Bait Co. It's all coming. Today I decided, what am I gonna do today? What kind of day am I gonna have? And I was like, well, you know, the fishing in the South has been terrible because it's been storming like crazy the last couple of weeks and everybody's water is Yuhu right now. I have decided that for the next opportunity that I can go fishing and have a good time, that I should have everything I need to be prepared. So today, I'm going to make trailers for some of the lures that I already have. Like, I don't have any white paddle tail trailers, so I'm gonna try to see if I can make a whitish pearl color today on some of those trailers. See what else I have in the tackle box that I could use to try to make some trailers for. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor and click that little subscribe button down there in the corner for me. Make it turn gray. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down by the end of the video. Let me know if you enjoyed the content. Leave a comment down below was your choice. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this lure content making video. Let's get to it. All right, let's get started. So let's see if I can make some white to white pearl trailers. What I have here is my three inch ripper mold from Do It Molds. We got our normal supplies here. We got our pump, we got our thermometer, we got our stirrer, we got our measuring spoons. We're gonna go with a black flake glitter and also have white and black coloring here to try to see if I can get that pearl color. So let's get started. I got a cup of Plastisol. I added a fourth a cup of hardener to my Plastisol to, to stiffen up my baits a little bit so that they don't tear or they're just, you know, the action is too much for me. So we're gonna do that. And I just wanted to say that because everybody tells you, you know, add this or add that. Your adding is your choice. Adding extra stuff to your plastisol is your choice. It does affect what it does and how long it lasts, but it's your choice. And, you know, to each his own. Let's get to adding some color. Now these are some non-toxic dye craft colorants that I found online. I made white. Solid drop of black. That should give it a tint of gray. I don't want to go too black. I want a, a pearly white where it's not really white. It's, yeah. That's, and then we'll add our flake, a quarter teaspoon of black flake. 0.8, I don't have a bigger one right now. I think I'm gonna do two of those. Mix in these flakes. Now that I got a semi-desirable color here, I'm gonna go ahead and get her back up to temperature, get her ready to inject. While I got you, I know you're gonna notice the inside of my molds are red. That's because these do-it molds make your baits have a very matte finish where they're not really shiny like how you expect your plastics to be um, and a quick fix for that is very high temp engine paint or caliper paint anything that can withstand a lot of heat this is a 700 red and you basically just mask it off spray it um, you know maybe one or two layers depending on however your spray can says to do it and then peel the masking tape and when you pump your baits now, they come out with a, a gloss finish and they look really good. Just a little quick tip. Yeah. All right, she's ready to inject. Let's see what we get. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, let's see what we got here. Look at that. 
you know. It's hard to explain what this color is. Though, I do believe I have a solution. Let me see. All right, let's see if we got it this time. Extra liquidy. And we're gonna shoot a color just to see. All right, let's see what we got this time. Shoot a wrap there. Oh, okay. That does not look terrible. Yeah, these are seemingly lighter in contrast. I got two of the new ones on one side, two of the older ones on the other side, and you can see a visible difference. And this one's a lot lighter, and this one's a lot darker. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and run these. But I'll tell you what I did, I added more, I added double the amount of white and I also added, I also tried to dilute it. So I added a whole nother cup of Plastisol to the Plastisol. So I got a lot more Plastisol to pump out here. I'm going to go ahead and knock these swim baits out. This is what we've come up with. Out of my three inch ripper mold, I was able to produce all these different colors here. Now, all these are pretty much the same color. This is the original color that we started with, and as you can see, it's, we lightened up the formula and made a completely different color out of it. So, I still have the original five injections from that, but then all the rest of them. I didn't get an accurate count, but this is what I'm left with for now. And that's too light of a color for what I'm trying to do, but I went ahead and finished out the mold because I'm sure I can still use them. I'm going to try to mix together a, a brighter, whiter mold so I can use as a swim bait trail to see if I can make something a little lighter than this. Now that we got the other baits pressed out and done, I'm going to go ahead and use this same ripper mold and see if I can get some pure whites. So we're going to go with the a white with the black and green flake. Try to offset it a little bit since I've seen exactly how dark that black made it. So stay tuned to see what we can get going here. Looking pretty clear. Let's see if we can get these colors together. Let's see if we can get these colors right. Less black flake this time. That teaspoon, so that little teaspoon is done correctly. I'm not even gonna put all of that in there. Not even all of that black flake. That black flake was a lot last time. What we're gonna do though, we're gonna mix in a tad bit of this 0.8 green flake also, just to offset all that black. Let's see what we got here. See if this green will help that get that pearlescent look I'm looking for. Yeah, it looks better. Much better. So we're going to get her back up to temperature and inject one. And once we get her back up there in temperature and inject one, we'll see what she looks like. We're gonna inject it. And we're gonna see what we got. Looks a little green to me. We got her poured. She's had time to sit. We'll go ahead and crack her open and see what we're looking like. Oh, that looks a lot better than I thought it was going to look. Alright. It's got a green, got a greenish hint to it. 
but it's not a terrible color. Yes, I can use these. I like that. I'm gonna get the cranking them out and we'll see what happens when we get through this cup. And this is what we ended up with at the very end of it all. A very nice green hue on a white base. That green flake really bled into it a little bit and got it nice and green, but I actually truly I can appreciate this color. So I hope you guys can too. Hope you guys got to enjoy today's bait making video. We put a lot into trying to get these colors together and I didn't get the exact color I want. I think I have an idea on how to get it, but I'll save it for another video. But we came out with two really good colors. There's never any bad colors like they say. Thanks to the world's worst fishing, there's only new colors. It's a good statement, it's a good way to think about it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you get a chance to watch another video or get to see any of the previous videos I've done when I was making plastic. Stay tuned, there's plenty more to come. I got things on order that are on their way here. Different molds, different injectors, different colors. It's only gonna get better from here. Click the subscribe button, follow me, see how it's gonna go and see where I'm taking this channel and I hope you get to follow along with me. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for spending your time. Until the next one, hats off to you.